The World Heritage Convention invites the states parties to submit to the World Heritage Committee a periodic report on the implementation of the World Heritage Convention, including the state of conservation of all World Heritage properties located on its territory. As the second cycle of periodic reporting now draws to a close, the World Heritage Center has collected some feedback from national focal points in the Europe region, as well as from experts involved in the periodic reporting process and from the advisory bodies to the World Heritage Committee. This allows us to showcase, in these videos, how key stakeholders view the process, the benefits, but also the future of periodic reporting. To ensure the smooth implementation of the periodic reporting exercise, which is a rather large-scale exercise involving more than 450 site managers on the ground level, as well as more than 50 national focal points responsible for world heritage in each of the countries in Europe, the World Heritage Center, in close cooperation with a number of great host countries, organized training workshops in each of the sub-regions. For the periodic reporting workshops, we adopted a training of trainers approach, which involved um, explaining the periodic reporting questionnaire to the focal points, who then went back to their country and trained the site managers on the use of this periodic reporting questionnaire. In addition to that, the World Heritage Center also established a live desk support, which involved a small team at the World Heritage Center, replying to emails and phone calls whenever a focal point or a site manager uh, had a question on, uh, on the filling in of the questionnaire. In the case of Spain, the uh, process of the report periodic has been mené depuis the Ministry of la Culture. For the section 1, it was our ministry, but also in collaboration with other institutions, uh, like the Ministry of the Environment, to uh, complete this uh, section 1. Uh, Par en ce qui concerne la section 2, euh, nous avons fait recours, évidemment, aux gestionnaires des sites. Et, firstly, we translated the documents and disseminated it to all stakeholders uh, to make them, firstly, ready for the meetings, to get them familiarized with the basic terms and the questions of the forms. And, secondly, we want to see whether there will be some contradiction among the views and there will be different views about the uh, uh, perception of the site. And finally, we wanted to see which main topics would be to be discussed in the afterwards meeting. We had uh, site managers, but also a group of professionals. Uh, uh, the architecture faculty was involved in evaluating the risks uh, specifically related to uh, frescoes, uh, uh, conservation and uh, uh, state of conservation of wall paintings. Uh, we have also um, involved ICOMAS Georgia National Committee to give their opinion on the, um, on the draft questionnaires. We also use this opportunity to, to, to widen the network of professionals who, who are able to work with World Heritage concepts and, and terms. So we, we establish the network of mentors for each World Heritage site uh, with the participation of ICOMOS, Hungary, um, so that in the process of uh, reporting, each World Heritage site had a mentor who helped the site manager in filling out the questionnaire. Certaines sections nationales d'ICOMOS ont accompagné les États dans la, la mise en œuvre du rapport périodique et ça c'est tout à fait intéressant parce que ça permet d'élargir le cercle des experts qui peut s'impliquer. Et par ailleurs, au niveau international, l'ICOMOS est tout à fait prêt, à, et l'a fait d'ailleurs, à participer aux séminaires européens et internationaux. Nous avons expliqué dès le début que nous voudrions faire aussi un plan d'action national à la fin du cycle du rapport périodique pour justement profiter de ces résultats pour améliorer la qualité de la gestion de la protection notamment des sites suisses. Yeah, at site level of course I think it is a really good opportunity for the site managers to get in contact with their colleagues in the region in their country and even in Europe, for instance.
But on the other hand, it is a good opportunity to get a feeling to be part of the World Heritage Community. And I think they do not have this experience normally. And therefore, I think that is a very good, good uh, opportunity to give this feeling to be part of the system, of, a world, of the World Heritage System to all, of our, to all our site managers. Um, I think it still uh, created a momentum of a kind of a friendship and some common understanding between these people. And um, it's too early to talk about the network, but still uh, at least the communication, I think, uh, was uh, improved to a certain extent. I think uh, that the periodic reporting gives you good answers on, on the question where you can improve. And I, I think you should learn from the periodic reporting and, and bear that with you. Uh, when it comes to us, uh, it is about management plans and management systems. And uh, as many other countries, we are facing problems with the development uh, projects. And, uh, and we are working with this uh, continuously to, to improve on, on, on these fields. I think we much the benefited in the national level, I think. We increased our capacities through a coordination and through uh, workshops with other partners, with other state parties. But especially in national level, we uh, increased the, our capacities in terms of collaboration with local and central government bodies. I think the periodic reporting is uh, helping us all the time with, uh, with staying in focus on what we should do and how we should manage our World Heritage Site uh, because it is uh, bringing up to the surface uh, those parts where we uh, have some kind of problems. D'une façon générale, euh, je pense que mieux connaître la situation euh, des sites, être conscient euh, de quels sont les points forts des sites, mais aussi les faiblesses et les choses qu'il y a encore à, à améliorer. Ceci nous donne euh, une vision très générale de beau, beaucoup d'aspects différents et d'une façon ordonnée. Ça va être, je crois, très utile euh, au moment de faire des plans de gestion Euh, cela nous sera utile pour, euh, pour avoir euh, toutes les questions qui, qui devront être prises en compte.